Yes, welcome to our class from here. And the next problem in uh, dimensional analysis we have the number of particles is given by n is equal to minus d n2 minus n1 divided by x2 minus x1 crossing unit area perpendicular to x axis in unit time where n1 and n2 are the number of particles per unit volume or the value of x v to x2 and x1 find the dimension of d called diffusion coefficient diffusion constant okay so from that given equation they are given as n okay what is this n the number of particles crossing per unit area to x axis in unit time so number of particles per unit area unit time right and n1 n2 are the number of particles per unit volume and the x means they are given as distance x means they are given as distance here and find the coefficient of d right now we move on to find out the dimension for n here okay what is n they are given number of particles divided by area in time so the particles we have more but we cannot able to write in uh, dimension so therefore it becomes zero right and area is meter square therefore we can write l to the power 2 and time is t so we can write as l to the power minus 2 t to the power minus 1 okay for small n and n1 n2 are they are given as uh, the number of particles per unit volume right so the number of particles per unit volume again the number of particles become zero and volume only l cube so we can write as l to the power minus 3 here and x2 and x1 are distance here they are given therefore x2 and x1 is we can write as L okay and what is the given d yes d is equal to we can rearrange this equation from here d is equal to n into x2 minus x1 divided by n2 minus n according to homogeneity x2 and x1 are same same dimension and similarly n2 and n1 are same dimension therefore we can write n what we find l to the power minus 2 t to the power minus 1 and what is x1 x2 distance therefore we can write l alone here okay and what is n2 what is we have find out the n2 value that is l to the power minus 6 absolutely here and here we have l to the power minus 2 here we have l therefore it will become l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 1 denominator as it is we have l to the power minus 3 this denominator should goes to numerator then it will becomes plus therefore l to the power minus 1 plus 3 that will give l to the power 2 t to the power minus 1 that is the coefficient of diffusion co coefficient or diffusion constant in that sum yes i hope you cleared thank you see you in the next video